Hi everyone, it's Kat again, um, and today I'm going to be doing a guinea pig fleece bed review from Piggy Pig Pigs. <laughs> Sorry, I always say that wrong. Yes, I'm pretty sure it is. Piggy Pig Pigs, yes. So, um, I'm just going to apologise for wearing the same outfit I'm doing this all at once as my other videos. Um, just, I'm busy at the minute, so I thought I'll just get it all done in one go. So, Piggy Pig Pigs is another online guinea pig fleece bed shop. Um, based in the UK um, and she does some really nice things and I thought I'd show you guys what I've got from her and give a little review of how the products perform and whether my guinea pigs like them or not and about the sizing for the guinea pigs. Right to start off I have a snuggle sack from her so here is the little rainbow frog snuggle sack it has the tubing in the front keeping it open which is really nice um, and it's really padded, like really padded. I got this for my boys because my boys don't have a snuggle sack. Um, it is a little bit small for them. My boys are a little bit chunky, um, so they don't, they fit, but they wouldn't be like super comfortable lying down in it. Um, I just have it in the cage with them for a while and they didn't actually go in it at all. They didn't really realize what to do with it. Um, but I think these are really handy. Um, but if your guinea pig needs to go in for like surgery or something at the vet, They'll feel quite safe and secure having a little bed like this, so I like to have them around just in case. Um, and she also has these little tags to show where they're from. Very cute. So to match that, I got this little pee pad. Um, I just love the frog pattern, I don't know, it's just hilarious. Look at their little smiley faces, they look so happy. Um, so I got this, it has a little green back. Um, these can be really good because they can be slotted into the beds. Um, sorry, Dudley's running around. Um, that they go in. Uh, sorry, they can go into beds um, as a replacement to the pee pad that was already there, uh, and they can be really good for using under a dripping water bottle, so you don't have to change the fleece if it gets really damp. You can just change out these. Um, so these are really good, really handy to keep around. So uh, next up, I'm going to talk about my favourite product from her shop. I just love this. Um, it's, it looks a little bit hairy and gross because it was in my washing pile and um, I had to drag it out for this video. Um, but it is the big tunnel. I'm not sure what it's called. I'll put a little thing up about it. But this is a really big tunnel. It's super wide. You can fit two guinea pigs could run past each other in this. There's another entrance here. And it's got a nice flat bottom. Um, and I mean, I, I love the print as well, it was really cute, little purple and blue print. Um, this is my favourite product from her. I absolutely love the tunnels for the guinea pigs. Guinea pigs love little dark tunnels they can run through. And having the extra house, um, the extra cutout on the side is really handy if like, you got two pigs that are a little bit argumentative. Um, you don't, you're not going to end up with any fights in it because they can just run past each other really easily. Um, it's a great size. My boys love sleeping in it, my boys perfectly fit in it, like there's plenty of room for boys if you've got big pigs. Um, so yeah, the, the only thing to remember is that if you have a small cage, which you shouldn't have a small cage, well guinea pigs deserve a nice place to run, but if you have a smaller cage this will take up quite a lot of space in your cage because it is big, like it is a big, it's a big tunnel, but it's worth it, it's a good tunnel. Next up I have two things from her Halloween collection. I honestly wanted to get all four of them, they were so cute. Um, I have such a thing for like the little creepy Halloween stuff, um, but I had to resist because again, I didn't know if my guinea pigs would fit in it, because um, it's really hard to decide on sizing and stuff and who's going to actually enjoy the beds. So first up we have the ghost. <laughs> I think he's absolutely hilarious, he's got little arms, he's a little bit wonky because I've had him like shoved in my little cupboard of fleece beds at the minute behind me um so he's a bit out of shape but these i believe are the teepees um she has these in her shop normally the design these are just halloween themed ones um so she's actually gone for the extra effort of sewing on these extra details and extra stuff so it's really nice um these are a decent size actually um i was quite worried that my boys wouldn't fit in them because i wanted them for my boys um, my boys do fit in them. One of them likes them, one of them doesn't like them. <laughs> he sleeps in it a lot and he curls up in it. I'd say the base is a little bit bigger than a cuddle cup base. So 
so it is very round and they can sleep in it. Um, the other one I have is pretty hairy, but uh, this is a witch's hat one. Um, again, it's pretty wonky because I've been shoved in the cupboard, but the witch's hat. Puff it out a bit, but yeah, this again is super cute. It's got this nice detailing and it's got quite a wide circumference with this the hat bit. I will say, my one issue with the normal ones is that they have a habit of falling over a little bit. They've got a good solid base, but if you've got an naughty guinea pig that likes to push things over in their cage, this will flop over and you'll have to pick it up. Um, but that won't be too much of an issue if you know just pick it up again it's not it's not a problem but the witch's hat because it has that like nice base it keeps it up right and um, stop it from falling so yes i think these are great um female guinea pigs again would love it um male guinea pigs can fit in it pretty well um so yeah if you like them give them a go they're quite tall um so they stand up really nicely right now the last product i have from piggy pig pigs is the pig tops i have two pig tops um, and I decided to get these for the girls just because the pattern was really cute um, and they're actually a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be so this is the first one it's a pastel pink one with these cute little woodland animals on the side in this nice grey colour it has a nice wide entrance and honestly it's really big like you could fit two guinea pigs in this um, really comfortably so this is again perfect male guinea pigs would fit perfectly in these uh, and have a really good time because they're nice and nice and wide for them but i do have this for my girls i also have this bright pink one with the little hedgehogs on it i thought it was so cute <laughs> little hedgehogs uh, again she's got a little tag and she also put a few little like extra fleecy bits or actually this one has little ribbonies ribbony bits you can see so they're really nice um they don't come with a keypad in them like a, a removable pad actually neither does the pig tops and uh, not the pig tops the um the teepees um i've not found it really to be a problem um i just wash them anyway because i find that with the pee pads they can be good but sometimes they kind of overlap anyway so you might as well just wash the whole thing um my girls both really like them one of them sleeps in my uh, Tokyo really sleeps in it a lot and Tilty actually uses it as a prop cording house it's a bit weird um Tilty likes to sleep in snuggle sacks more and tubes but she runs down the stairs usually well down their ramp uh runs into this little house does a load does a load of popcorns rolls around and then jumps back out and runs off so I call this the pop cording house um but yeah they're perfect for guinea pig boys as well I'm sure if my boys did have them they would enjoy them a lot um, but they do not. So yeah, these are all the products I have from uh, Piggy Pig Pigs. I think they're all really good. They've got really great fleece patterns as well. Um, if you saw in my other video, I was talking about how uh, they are kind of like the pre-made fleeces as opposed to Guinea Pig Weekly who designs their own fleeces. Um, so you might be able to get the same patterns as Pampered Piggy's Boutique. They have the same sort of um, supplies a lot of the time, but they have different styles of products like these are kind of the more specialised products, like especially this big tube um, I've only seen in her shop, so they are really good. Um, I highly recommend them, they've all washed really really well. Again, some of these have lasted me over half a year or so, um, and there's not really any wear and tear on them at all. Um, the only problem I've had is these dried a bit wonky, but that was my own fault for drying at a weird angle. Um, but if you dry it again and just push it one way, it'll be alright. Um, yeah, again, follow all the washing instructions. You don't want to damage them. They're all handmade, um, so be careful with them. But they will last you well. And I will be including some clips of the pigs in them for their sizing. So I hope you guys found this video helpful in any way. I don't know if you would, but if you're looking to buy from her, I do recommend the, their products. Um, you've just got to find what your guinea pig likes. Um, you know, guinea pigs like all different sizes of things, some might love something, some might not like it, it's just them. <laughs> some of them can be really fussy, but their products are really good, so it's a thumbs up from the guinea pig team over here. So yeah, that's it for this video, thank you for watching, bye!